know, the Lockwood system's been around for 60 years, so even before my time it had been gone, it had actually had a lot of innovative ideas introduced within, within its system. Uh, a big one that, that got introduced in the mid 80s was obviously the aluminium cladding, and that is a, is a very strong part of our system that we use here. Um, because of the, the low maintenance factor, uh, which is a, is a real key for all our clients. Uh, works well in the coastal areas. Um, it, we now have a range of colours, so it, it, um, it covers off that, you know, people that can put it in, in certain areas where you're only allowed certain colours, works well. Touched on with the low maintenance factor, it allows them to basically wash down the home very easily and, and then enjoy uh, what they want to do, family time or, or just relaxing time. And the other thing, the beauty with the, the aluminium cladding is it's, a, it's, it's a pressed onto the timber board and it actually allows it to move independently within the, the wall structure itself. So with a north facing wall, obviously the aluminium does tend to uh, expand, contract, etc. and allows it to do that without uh, damaging um, any part of the, the wall structure, which is obviously very important. Um, and the other thing that obviously we, we do regularly and head office is obviously the research and development side. So obviously with the advent of the Christchurch earthquake, it's been very important to just keep up all our testing in regards to the earthquakes, uh, strength, etc. cetera. So, that, so that's something that we're doing. So obviously that relates to sort of the, the laminations of the posts and beams, etc., to provide strength, uh, laminating of certain boards, um, solid boards in certain areas to basically provide lintels, uh, strengthening, etc. So there's been a massive big push within our organisation to make sure that those particular areas uh, are, are well maintained because that's obviously the key to our system. So part of the issue with the leaky building situation is that water was able to get into the, the home's uh, wall structures and basically almost live in there or create the, the issues that, that everyone has seen on TV, etc. So the, the beauty with the Lockwood system is that because it's a solid wall structure, the water if it gets in, it must come out because there's nowhere for it to, to, to hide, so to speak. But the other thing is that with the, the innovation uh, through the guys in the R&D department in Rotorua is that they've, they've come up with, with flashings that we have on the external faces of our walls that, that aren't um, sealed as such. So if water was to get in, there's no pressure being created to force the water inside the home. It basically has a, has a way to get back out. Um, and in the odd time where there is water in the home, then obviously there's a, um, it's just through slight movement. Um, obviously airflow was a, was a big part of design throughout New Zealand homes um, up until 10 years ago. So with airflow, obviously there is um, gaps, so to speak, so that you know when you're, you're washing down your home, etc., you will have the odd uh, water drip you know, through in your home, but nothing too dramatic. So. Luckily enough, well not luckily, I think it was actually a good management that we actually had no homes involved with the, the leaky building situation. And that just comes back to, you know, that creating that customer confidence within the, the Lockwood system. So.